Okay, Jimmy, so you, you sit here with pre-season now done, ready to take on Harrow Bar away on Saturday. How do you feel pre-season has gone and how are the team fixed? Yeah, pre-season's for, you know, a few different reasons, really. Getting the team together, new players in, integrated, getting some sort of togetherness and cohesion amongst the, the group. Uh, it's about fitness, it's about no injuries, of which, you know, we've been very fortunate and, and come through quite well. 90 minutes, plenty of 90 minutes in, in pretty much everyone. So on that front, it's, it's been very, very positive. The, the performances are, that really stand out are the first hour against Aldershot and pretty much the whole game against, against Yeovil. I thought we were excellent. Uh, Bogner was a good performance from us, solid professional uh, and, and finished off with Hamovi where you know second half I thought we were very very good so um, yeah people, people say it's not about results it's about performances but it's nice to have both um, and in a couple of games we've done that and a couple we haven't but I'm, I'm overall I'm pleased. You made three additions to the squad over the course of the summer yeah how do you feel those three players have settled in? Excellent excellent really pleased with them um, it, it is largely about recruiting the person, you know, get the right people with the right mentality to come and do what 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 we want them to do and how we want to play in the, in the mindset we want to play. It's about recruiting the right people, and I think we've done that, you know, very very well. So the Stags were all conquering at step four last season, but obviously now they go up to a higher level, a higher division, a higher level of football against potentially tougher opposition. So what do you anticipate the season ahead in terms of the opposition? I think it'll be very tough. Um, like you say, we're playing against some good sides, uh, playing against sides that you know, know the landscape, have survived in it and played well in it and thrived in it for, for a long time. Established teams who, you know, will be bigger, stronger, quicker. Than, than what we faced so yeah I, I don't think for one minute it will be a walk in the park but I, I do you know I've got some faith in my players and um, hopefully we can spring a few surprises and, and be you know be be a, a strong side in this league it's what, it's what you always hope for but the proof of the pudding will be in the eating we'll have to go and do it and prove it and, and um, earn it We'll have to do it many different ways. We will have to not rely on luck or you know anything like that. We will have to overcome adversity at times. We will have to you know be brave in our play, confident, unafraid of making mistakes, and we'll see where it brings us out in the end. You know, it's uh, all I know is it's going, it's going to be exciting. A lot of local derbies, should we say, uh, where we've we've just had one local derby really for the last however many seasons, um, certainly the last season since I've been here. And now, you know, we've got four or five, or po possibly eight, if you like, if, if uh, it's been an hour far you want to go. So that side of it's going to be great, going to be exciting, bigger crowds. And so I think myself and definitely the players are really looking forward to that. We know you and the squad to be very competitive, but have you got any minimum expectations for the season ahead? Um... I think I've got. To, we've got to play 10, 12 games before I could sort of say, we're, we're, right, this is this will be a target." Um, because you, you you're going into uncharted territory. You know, you think you've got a good side. You think, you know, you've got a way of playing that that people will find difficult. But you don't know until you're there and you're in it and you feel it. So um, I wouldn't like to. I wouldn't like to do that at this point. I'd like to have a little little time to to see what it's all about first before I make that prediction but I believe in the players I really do I believe in the group I believe in I believe in the way we can play and that means that we can play in lots of different ways and we can have it sort of any way they want it and so that that fills me with confidence but purely just out of belief in my players uh, that that they've done nothing to to make me think otherwise so Let's bring on the challenge and let's look forward to it. Let's be positive and, and um, like I said, ask me again after 12 games. So any message to the fans finally? Firstly, thank you. I know I've thanked them before, but the last season was fantastic. Support was fantastic, especially here and people travelling 
you know, a long, long way in that league last season. Every every time we travelled, it seemed like it was miles. Um, please come along in your droves again and please sing and all the songs are great. The players love it. Players respond to it knowing that they turn up at an away ground and, and there's people there for them to 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 play for and to not let down. It, it makes a difference and it, last season they were great. And, you know, they were great because we entertained them too. We played some good football, scored lots of goals. So, you know, hopefully we do that again. That's the plan. Um, but no, basically, thank you, and we look forward to seeing them all. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you.